Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at the definition and an illustration on the Poisson process and its distribution. The experiment in the Poisson process can be described as follows. We basically have a time interval in which we are trying to measure the number of events. So, this time interval can be basically divided into a finite number of sub-intervals. And then the main, main characteristic of Poisson process is that there is very little chance for more than one event occurring in a given sub-interval. And the lengths of the sub-intervals basically vary from each other. Then the probability of this event or the probability of this count in each sub-interval is proportional to the length of the interval. And finally, the process does not have any memory. That means the counts or the events that occur in each sub-interval are independent of each other. So the probabilities are also independent of each other. Thus, if it has these three properties, that is, the first one is that the, there is only chance of one event per sub-interval and the probability of this event or count per sub-interval is proportional to the length of the interval and finally, the probabilities or the events in each sub-interval are independent of the events or counts in the other intervals, other sub-intervals. So, the random variable we are trying to measure is the number of events per the whole interval. That is, we basically select a uh, time duration t in one we want to measure the number of events or counts in the given time interval and this time interval can be replaced by any other independent variable such as space based on the process we are trying to understand now let us look at the python simulation illustrates this poison process imagine a radioactive matter that is uh, releasing or emitting for example beta particles the emissions or the number of particles per uh, unit time follow a Poisson distribution and this is a Poisson process. So, let us look at a graphical representation of this process. So, assume that this blue circle is a radioactive matter and then these red dots are basically the number of particles or events that occur in a given time interval. For radioactive matter, this is usually in the order of millisecond. And the number of particles per unit interval basically depend on the mean of this Poisson process. Now, going back to the definition of the Poisson distribution, the random variable x is the number of events per time interval, usually unit time interval or unit spatial length and so on. It is given by this expression. That is, it is a product of an exponential function with lambda times t, where t is a time interval and lambda is the Poisson distribution's parameter and lambda t power x, which is again another exponential divided by the factorial of the variable x and the value of x is usually a whole number because a count is usually a whole number. And the mean and variance of this distribution are given by this parameter lambda times t. And if t is assumed to be 1, it is given by lambda. So, the lambda is the key parameter for the Poisson distribution. And these plots show the probability mass function for different values of lambda. For example, for lambda equal to 0.1, it almost looks like a exponential distribution. And for the rest of the values, that is 2 and 5, the curves, the peak of the curve basically it displaces from the x equal to 0. So, now we know that the mean of the distribution is given by the parameter lambda t and if we, if we assume that t is equal to 1, then it is given by lambda. So, if we change the value of lambda in the simulation, we can see that, for example, if we increase it to say 10, then we will see that the number of particles that are emitted per unit interval will also increase accordingly we can clearly see that the number of particles on average has increased. Similarly, we can also see that when we reduce lambda uh, close to 1 or 0, then we will see that the number of particles per unit interval will also reduce. Now, let us look at another simulation that should clearly shows how to compute the number of particles or number of events within a unit interval. So, here we use lambda equal to 5 and let us see now, let us see the number of outcomes for each interval. The x-axis basically shows the time lapse, that is unit, here the unit time is 1 millisecond and the number of particle counts is the y-axis. So, y-axis represents number of particle counts, that is the random variable x. So, the we can clearly see that the value varies from 1 to around 12. So, these red dots basically represent the realizations of the random variable x and by basically varying the value of by varying the value of lambda we can see that the number of counts also 
चेंज अकॉर्डिंगली सो क्लियरली द मैक्सिम वैल्यू हैज रीच अप टू सिक्सटीन बाई चेंजिंग द वैल्यू ऑफ लैमडा टू टेन Thus, to summarize, the poison process has the following three properties. The first one is that there is very little chance of more than one count per sub-interval, and then the probability of each event per sub-interval. Uh, for example, the probability of emission of a one particle sub-interval is proportional to the length of that interval, and then the probability of the count in each sub-interval is independent of the probabilities of the counts or events from the other sub-interval. Thanks for watching.